Hello everyone, my name is Soraya. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about overcoming twin flame challenges. They happen on any journey within any relationship. And so how do you navigate the particular challenges that come up with your twin flame so that you can have a harmonious journey, so that your journey can feel peaceful and good and enjoyable and you can feel empowered like through and through. Um, yeah, how to face challenges. You know, I feel like when you're looking at all of the pros um, in terms of, you know, being with your twin flame, a lot of times what we think about is, you know, how nice it's going to be to hang out with our best friend all the time, to be able to have that deep and meaningful connection that we desire. But there's actually an aspect of the twin flame journey that a lot of times goes unappreciated, <laughs> and that is uh, the challenges. And that those are actually a gift, and that is truly a blessing in and of itself. And so if you find yourself facing twin flame challenges, they are there to help you as, as counterintuitive as that may seem. And so, yeah, let's kind of dive into how to approach them, how to see them properly so that you can, first of all, enjoy your journey and second of all, get the most from it. And so you really want to receive everything that your twin flame has for you, which is so much more than what meets the eye. So really in order to face the challenges on the twin flame journey with grace you've got to really know what's going on with the twin flame journey like you can't just be in the dark stumbling through running into things and call that a harmonious enjoyable journey so the first thing is being equipped and aware of how twin flames work what twin flames are and experiencing support on the twin flame journey that's the biggest part of helping you work through challenges. That's what's made all the difference in my life because I remember being in the dark and I thought like, oh, I'm figuring some things out and it was never the way I thought it was. And I had to learn the hard way that I really needed support on this journey. And I'm thankful that I came across, you know, Twin Flames Universe and all the support that's there. And so, yeah, like, you know, you definitely want to make sure that whoever you're listening to, that they are credible, that they're getting results, and that what they're teaching applies across the board every single time, that they've got an awareness of twin flames that is so precise and masterful that you can really be clear on what your journey is about and how to navigate it. And of course, everybody's journey is a little bit unique because each one of us are unique as human beings and as twin flames, you share one consciousness. So every twin flame union uh, is very unique unto itself. But when you understand how twin flames work, that can help you a lot with the challenges. And you're gonna just feel confident in general that even before challenges come up, you know that you can handle it. You know that you've got that support. If you're meeting with an Ascension coach like myself regularly, you know every single week you're gonna have somebody there to hold your hand and to point things out to you, to show you what's really going on in your twin flame union and to help you navigate it. And so that's the biggest thing <laughs> is having the support that you need. Uh, if you think that you can do it without it, I mean, you know, you're welcome to, to try and, and to see, you know, how that works for you. Uh, but in my experience, my, on my own personal journey and watching so many others go through the twin flame journey, there is a turning point the day that they finally decide to receive help and support. And so uh, that's huge. I just have to establish that because it's so important. It would not be uh, loving <laughs> for me to not mention how important that is. Um, and so that's the first thing, having the support, having the teaching, having the awareness of, of what's going on. And the second part of it is really trusting the process. So instead of thinking in terms of just, I wanna have one experience with my twin flame, like I wanna have, just go on a date with my twin flame or just have a phone call with my twin flame or um, just you know be in a relationship with my twin flame. Instead of just having that very like short, uh, limited kind of focus, on just one experience, you wanna see your twin flame union as an eternal journey. I feel like we get kind of into that short focus with soulmates because the relationship uh, really is very much about that outer stuff. With twin flames, it's actually a spiritual journey. That's why Jeff and Shalia call their classes Twin Flame Ascension School. 
So really your twin flame is helping you heal yourself, helping you grow in your relationship with yourself, helping you raise your vibration. And so there's a lot more going on than just a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a date or um, you know whatever else it may be on the surface. And so with a twin flame journey, something that helps you really moving through those challenges is having that eternal perspective because you value things differently if you know that you're in it for the long haul than you would if it was just about you know a high feeling and feeling distracted or just having fun for a time and seeing how it goes you begin to think more like an investor like think about how you know when people talk about investing money they recommend a lot of times to just invest in something and to just leave it alone <laughs> um, i don't know a lot about how all of that works but i know that that's like that's that's the good advice is to just invest in something good and leave it alone and <laughs> let it sit there and uh, it'll do great for you. And the twin flame journey, of course, you don't like leave it alone, but you do have that long-term mentality of like, I'm investing right now and I know that what I'm investing in is good. And so I invest in it without fear and I know that I'm gonna get those returns. And, and of course you do. And you're, you'll see as you go along the journey that you're getting those benefits and you're getting that return. So it's not like you invest a whole lot for like 30 years, like, like a financial investment. Um, and then you have this huge breakthrough. It's not like that on the twin flame journey, but it is helpful to think more long-term because you're thinking about, like I said, a relationship that's eternal. And so you want to really uh, have the right perspective on what is valuable and how things um, become fruitful on the twin flame journey. And so that's also really huge. And, uh, you know, thirdly, it's also understanding and valuing peace. So what I see a lot of times on the twin flame journey with people who come to me as a coach is they feel, especially if they feel stressed out, um, if they feel overwhelmed or frustrated on the twin flame journey, a lot of times they tend to be kind of stuck in a rut with their feelings. Like they're kind of in this place where they're running a cycle, they feel triggered, they may act out that trigger or they may just kind of like suppress it or try to like kind of, they're kind of they, sometimes they're kind of like stuck in that energy on the inside. Um, and so a lot of people can actually associate the twin flame journey with suffering and that's not actually what the twin flame journey is about or nor does it ever have to be about suffering. Um, that's not, I don't recommend it. I feel like anybody could make anything in their life about suffering. Um, in terms of focus and in terms of like, you know, what you're putting your energy toward, like people can kind of perpetuate that if they choose to. Um, but the twin flame journey doesn't have to be like that, especially if you know what you're doing. Um, and so instead of like seeing it as something where it's like about suffering and like by suffering, I mean like you're like spinning your wheels and you're just kind of like in the state of misery. Um, twin flame journey has challenges, but if you know what you're doing, you can move through the challenges instead of kind of being stuck in them and, and kind of running the cycle. And so that's really like the difference between a challenge and suffering. And so um, you really want to be focusing on peace and making your awareness like really like whenever you notice that you're not in peace, you want to handle that immediately. You don't want to stay in that cycle. Um, so what we use to resolve anything that doesn't feel peaceful and good is the mirror exercise. It is four steps. I've talked about it a lot on this channel. There's a video beneath this video that outlines it. And it's what I use to help people in coaching sessions. It's the healing modality that we use to really address what's actually going on energetically in a twin flame union. So once you know what the upset is, once you've kind of become clear on what's going on with your twin flame, it allows you to kind of go within and uh, see what's going on there and love yourself in that space. And so as you do that, you realize that you can always come into peace. And so you can choose to have a peaceful journey. So even when the challenges come up, you can handle it and always find yourself back in peace. And so... Yeah, like I said, twin flame journey, it's long term, it's about investing, it's about a lifetime, like an eternal, like for your full lifetime and, and into eternity. 
um, of a journey and it's just really about finding peace and so when you've got those things down you've got the support that you need you see it as an eternal journey as an investment and you are always choosing peace and returning to peace it's okay to be upset you've got to acknowledge it you can't just be like i'm fine when you're really not fine you got to be emotionally honest honesty is one of the keys to harmonious union so that you got to have that one down um but you know as as long as you're working through that with the mirror exercise you're finding peace you're gonna have a beautiful enjoyable journey all the way through and so those things are really key that's what really what's going to make the difference in terms of your experience of your twin flame journey and so yes as i shared i am a certified ascension coach i've been doing this for many years i love working with twin flames especially you know what my favorite thing is <laughs> it's like figure like seeing and like and, and identifying what's been going on in a twin flame union especially when clients have been stuck in a rut for a long time it's like oh, it's like the best feeling ever to help the client like be able to see what's actually going on because then it's like so much relief you know and, and you're actually able to move forward and so um yeah I'm, I'm a coach i love working with twin flames if you guys would like my help individually for me to work with you see what's going on in your consciousness see what's going on with your twin flame and what they're mirroring to you and helping you resolve it with the mirror exercise you can find all that information down beneath this video and uh yeah i i hope to see you guys soon and if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one